What is life? Black Uhuru. Francois Kavorian remix. We have that. Erlene Bentley. Ian Levine. It's Record Shack. Never heard of you. I like it though. <laughs> Blue Bells. Jackie Graham. Heaven knows. Okay. Herman's Hermits. Vera Lynn. Any Veras? The Animals. Crusaders Ghetto Blaster. Who worked on this? Dunno. The Residence. This is the Residence. This is actually the Residence. Right, have that. Sheila E. Glamorous Life 12, I think. No, the album. Nothing there for us. Van Halen. I'll wait. Ah, now three. <laughs> Russ Ballard. Ah, traditional Irish songs of freedom. The nation once again. And so on. Falco's album. Oh no, wait, it's not. It's... Oh, it is. <laughs> Brothers Johnson are out of control, apparently. And Shelton's Sentimental Journey. The Girl from Ipenema by Getzin Gilberto, Astrid Gilberto. Theme from Ipanema. Don't know. Not interested. Flock of Seagulls. Story of a Young Heart. What's the story here? I don't know any of the tracks on this, guys. Recognize the sleeve, though. Manu Dibango. A ballet dance. A ballet dance dub version. Hmm. Pass. Could have been a mistake. Woman, I Need Your Lovin' by The Investigators on Private Eye Records. Part one, it's ice music. So what's this now? Kind of reggae-ish, I suspect. My love is overdue. Gregory Isaacs and Trinity, well, we know that's reggae. Okay, we have a batch of this stuff here. Excerpts from Starlight Express by the original cast. Yeah. Thanks. You ever seen... What, what's this? My grass is greener. That's... That has to be a joke. 17 vocal version by Rick James. 17 instrumental by Rick James. Eh. Ah, what the hell, it's Rick. He's great. Lindsay Buckingham. Rufus and Chuck Khan. Comfort and Joy, whatever that is. Change, you're my melody. Nah. What's this? David Sylvian. And Ronstad. Peter Wolf. L album by Peter Wolf. Doctor, doc, 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 beat. Instrumental of Dr. Beat, anybody? Do we care? Don't think we do. THS, the horn section. It's on 4th and Broadway, so we know it's funky, but nah. Jerry Moore, street talking. Really? What's this? Is this the Jerry Moore? It is, it's on Crashed Records. Oh, this is Jerry's album! That was Jerry's album. Um, he was sort of a country, he had a country rock thing going, didn't he? Memoirs of Dublin. Biddy Milligan, The Pride of the Coombe. Great. Jerry's album again, Sam and Dave. Clyde McFatter's Bip, Bam, and the, Clyde McFatter and the Drifters, even. Frida Payne, Bands of Gold compilation. Duke. Duke, seriously. Bluebells, Calf. That was a great tune. What's the album? With compliments, Pete Tong. So Pete was doing A and R for London, and he A and R'd the Bluebells, Twelve Inch of Calf, but it doesn't look remixed enough. Stephen Stills, no thanks. U two, a dialogue with U two live under a blood red sky. So what would this be? It's a numbered thing. I'm thinking that's an interview. It's got a limited edition number on it. We'll have a listen. We'll have a listen. Frank Sinatra with Quincy Jones. The Cool Notes. You're never too young. 
John Burns of the Greenhouse. Abstract Dance Records, yeah, we'll have a look at that. Master and Servant 12 inch, Phil Fearn's Galaxy. What is this? It's 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 an LP magazine. Spanda Ballet, Nick Hayward, Womack and Womack. What is this? Debut. It's full of all of the, the damned. Nick Hayward. Who's this? Jamaica's Melody Makers. Wow, this is kind of bizarre. Evelyn Thomas special high energy mix. High energy special mix. I want to hear Evelyn Thomas's high energy special mix. Lloyd Cole, Glory, Persia. Evelyn Thomas high energy, 8 minutes 37. It's a special mix. I'll take it because it might be good. What You Did To Me Last Night by Jay Blackfoot. Where we, I stood on the sidewalk. No clues there. Soundtown Records will have it. No idea. Frank. Loads of Frank. More Frank. Plenty of Frank. Even more Frank. More Frank than you could shake. Anything at Freddie Riley's The Old Refrain. Awesome. Looks so comfy. Who's this? Mick Haggerty. There's Julio again. SOS Band. Just the way you like it. The album. Produced by Jam and Lewis by the looks of it. Yeah. yeah. Um, Star Spangled Country, the hits of 84. So there's a clue there. What is this? Breakdance. As advertised on TV, you could do it featuring the New York City Breakers and company and includes a poster. So I want the poster. I'm just feeling here now. Is any of these doing the poster? We'll have that. Breakdance. You can do it, baby. 9 out of 10 cats EP. Sound of music. Oh, I remember them. Never mix any uh, trident, they mix that in. Well done, guys. The truth. Five Alive. Confusion hits you every time. Confusion is everything. Performance British EP. Oh, it's an EP. Uh, live at the 100 Club in London. Nah. Is this something with no proper sleeve? It's Never Could Toe the Mark by Waylon Jennings. Well, I'm glad we looked. U2's pride worn to bits by the looks of it. Waylon Jennings again. Rap master Ronnie. Rethel Bean and the Doonesbury Break crew. We are so having that. John and Vangelis, the best of. Well, they didn't change the sleeve for the re-release CD. Led Zepp 3, obviously re-release. Best of Judy Collins. Little Feet. No. The Cult! And it's the one with the free live album. Great. The Fields of Athenry by Paddy Riley. Jesus Christ. Glenn Frey. I know that logo. Jethro Tull. All right. Good luck to you. Seamus McGee. My Donegal Shore. Horse Lips. Folk Collection. Well done, guys. I didn't know you did a folk collection. Andy Summers and Robert Fripp. Acceleration by Bill Nelson. Hard Facts from the Fiction Department. Acceleration Dub, John Luongo. I don't know who that is and I'm not willing to. Donna Summer, Cats of the Claws, no. Not sure. Exile, no. Mark Gray, no. DOA, no. Black and Blue, guys. What's this? The best of Connors? Carry on my wayward son. Creole. Kid Creole and Coconuts. All right, okay. George Jones. Diana's album at the time. Frankie. Dennis DeYoung. Ghostbusters. Instrumental version on the B, of course. What's this? Astrid Gilberto, The Essential. A certain Smile is on it. Um, okay, that's uh, interesting. I don't know what this is. Uh, no clues. You fail. Nick Lowe. All oh, right, cowboy outfit. Jim Capaldi. Roberto Gill. Toda Marina Baiana. And Samba de Los Angeles. Fiat Lux. House of Thorns. Tricks of the Light by Mike Oldfield. Emily Harris album. There is this. Doreen Lewis. Hi, Doreen. What's this, Dick? Oh, wow. Yeah, great. Notice how the corners were cut off because it was an import by the looks of it, even though it was made in England. 
remember a collection of pop memories. No thank you, Andy Summers and Robert Fripp's album. What's this? That's Bowie, isn't it? Yeah, very good. No more meow meow meow. <coughs> Paul Brady's album, Clint Eastwood and General Saint. Shirley Bassey. Touch Me by Fonda Ray. No way. Touch Me in the Morning. Touch Me. Special mix for breakdancing. Now you're talking. You'd be 40. Need your consent. Chris Hillman. Liking that moustache. Apollonia 6. What? What is this? What are you? Okay, you're in. Just sit over there with those others. Gary Newman, Chubay Army. The plan. Right. Hall and Oates, Big Bam, Boom. SOS Band's Weekend Girl. Full length version. Extended version of something else. Yeah, whatever. Torch Song! Yay, William Orbit! What is this? Okay, so this is um, important. We have to see that. I mean, we're all aware of um, Time to Energize. Anyone who's seen uh, Bachelor Party, the movie, will doubtless be familiar with him in that form. But I don't know that record. And um, in fairness, no, this is actually a bit. Tom Robinson's Hope and Glory. More Frank. There's a lot of Frank, wasn't there, really? Some great reward with the inner. Well done. Chicago Greatest Hits. What is this? Soccer Train. Hot, hot, hot. Yada, yada, yada. Notting Hill. Yeah, I think we can guess what that is. Timothy B. Schmidt. Playing it cool. Yes, you are, Timothy. Space Monkey. Come with me. Spooky Men Like Sonic Attack. Inner Vision Records. Who did they do? Wham! Right, we'll have that. Could be fun. Ricky Lee. What was Ricky Lee doing? Oh, the magazine. Right. Simplicious. Let her feel it. Vocal and instrumental. Donald Robinson. Mixed by John Morales and Sergio Munizibai. And an M and M mix. Yeah. Nah. There's some great Fourth and Broadway stuff. What, Eleven copies of the Unforgettable Fire. There. Red Foley. Don't know you. Easy Tops Fandango. Ah, oh, Neil, Hole in My Shoe. Which was mixed by that guy. Kim Wilde. Girls Talk. Who the hell were they? Extended Mix Can the Rhythm by Stock Aiken and Waterman. No, just Stock and Aiken. Oh no, it is Stock Aiken and Waterman. That's kind of an early one, girls. It's also an inner vision, so we'll try that. Patrice Russian, Get Off, You Fascinate Me, Dance Mix. Yep, we'll have that. Neville's, Gary Moore, plenty of Gary. Vangelis, Soil Festivities. Wow, five movements, eh? I'm interested. I've never heard this. And Vangelis is a genius, but no. Barry Gibb, no. Level 42. And they're all the true colours. Eber dich gibt's ne einmal für mich. What's this? Oh, no, no, no. No. <laughs> Fleur? Oh, yeah, I believe you. No. Tom T. Hall, Paul Brady. Paul Brady again. The who? The Pogues. Wow. Uh, Paul Brady. More Paul Brady. Okay, I think that's it. Um, this is uh, on Electra Records. It's Patrice Russian and Get Off You Fascinate Something. But it's a dance mix or so it claims, so here we go. Don't worry about it, just come on in all around me. People. Okay. Vaguely know this. Um, 84. Oh, okay. So, so that's the 7 inch. And then. 
bonus track is a bit meh. Girl talk and can the rhythm. Here's girl talk, two girls. Okay, obviously talk. This is on Inner Vision Records, who brought us stuff. Weren't Wham on Inner Vision? Oh my. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Uh, this is um, directed by Mike Stock and Matt Aiken uh, and Pete Waterman. No, it's a Pete Waterman production. So. Very. Can the Rhythm Instrumental Remix version, and this is Can the Rhythm Extended Mix. This is Space Monkey. Come with me. Space Monkey, eh? Okay, space. Oh, it's also an Inner Vision Records. The Spooky Moonlight Sonic Attack in brackets. Something big and tragic about it, which is kind of euro y. And this is the same track. Right. This claims it's called Sonic Love Bomber, when it's clearly the same track. Torch song, Don't Look Now. So this is William Orbit, Laurie Mayer, and Grant Gilbert. And these are remixes from their album. So... Twee vocal does not help. Uh, what's this? Remix. Okay, you're feeling the wind there. I know you are. Apollonia 6. Look at this. Yeah. Uh, oh, look, she smokes. Awesome. Oh! And the inner sleeve had more pictures of your ma and and her friend. I did not drop that. But anyway, Apollonia 6 on uh, Warner's. What they were looking for. My name is Susan. Okay. Do you <laughs> okay. There's a credit for who did the photography on the sleeve. Sound like sound like sound like Prince. Well, they're from Minnesota, so this is bizarre. What's that? Blue limousine. 
Oh, music by Sheila E. Ah, okay, right. There you go. That's why. Now. <laughs> I'm liking that. The opening track is called A Million Miles I Love You. Very strange. Uh, this is on Streetwave Records. Touch Me by Fonda Ray. T-U-C-H. Touch Me, even. Oh, okay. Gonna need some major craziness. <laughs> you gotta laugh. Oh, it's that you know. You know how to love me. So that's that. Okay. Uh, and the short version and the special mix on the B-side. Short, right, and then... <laughs> Drum machine. Yeah. yeah, it's a winner. This is Rathal Bean and the Doon... It is Bean and the Doonesbury Break Crew and... I shit you not, it's Rap Master Ronnie. Oh my god. Well, there's an instrumental, so let's hear the instrumental first. And it's filthy too. Like, well, it looks like rat crap on it. Hold on. <laughs> That is solid, but a bit boring. So, brace yourself. Communicate, the cat can rap. I even let Nancy sit on Mr. T's lap. Loves the needy, loves them dearly. Love to read graffiti if they'd only print it clearly. He can break. <laughs> he be trying to make the big box beat. <laughs> trying to get those. Okay. <laughs> This, this, this is really awful. From Mr. T's lap, loves the needy, loves them dearly. Okay, short version. I, I was hoping this was actual, because they used a real picture of Ron on the front of it, so I was thinking that they might have gone the whole hog and, you know, sampled some of his speeches or something. So this is Breakdance, You Can Do It, as seen on TV. Really? Oh, it's on k -Tel Records. It's got all the big breakdance hits on it, everyone. Here we go. Whoa. What the hell is that? that that's not the way I remember that. With Simmons drums. Wait, this is Breakdance Party by Original Street Machine. What? What? Kids rap and the hip hop beat by the rapologists. Jesus. And a cover of Automatic. Oh, there's a cover of Rocket here. <laughs> Jesus. This is awful. Okay, there's a cover of Tour de France on this. I, 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 I'm getting the fear.
Okay. Michael Hallman is involved here. Oh, this is Electric Shocks by Alex and the City Crew. That's epic. Um, Spacewalk Action by Alex and the City Crew. This is great. Rapotition. Again by Alex and the City Crew. Uh, Scratch Walk by... Alex and the City Crew. To the other side to help the rest of your body. Glide, baby, glide, glide. Glide, 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 glide. Come on, you gotta glide, 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 glide. Get on and glide, 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 glide. Okay, this is all Alex and the City Crew. <laughs> nah. Go up, shoulder to your head, the right chest makes a pop. That's that's both awesome and horrific. So that's the New York City Breakers by Michael Hallman. This is what You Did To Me Last Night by Jay Blackfoot. PRT Records distributing Allegance, A-L-L-E-G-I-A-N-C-E Records. I stood on the sidewalk. This is the B-side. You've been seeing someone else. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Him. Oh, dear. Yeah. Mm. Now, why did you put that on a 12-inch? So this is the A-side. You did it to me. Happy. Yeah, mm. Because of what you're going. Be sound. Make me feel like I'm floating. When I know I should. Yeah. Um. All right. So this is kind of very odd. I'm going to stop the deck for this because we need to look at this carefully. This is um. debut. And what it is, is it's, it's, it's like a magazine. Okay, we've got all of this stuff going on in it. It's got like pop stuff, thing with Gary Kemp there, you know, stuff, more stuff. Big thing. Oh, look, a big thing on heroin. All the kids were doing it in the 80s. And look, a cool, cool ad here at the back for, for NAD. There we go, look, NAD. Mm, yes. Anyway, this is an album of some sorts with a magazine, so I don't really know. Debut LP Mag 4B. So this is, they got to four anyway, so... Bit of Lloyd Cole. It's the Parachute Club. Melody Maker. Okay. Man, I carried my pack. Pogues. Okay, and this is why we picked it up. Well, we picked it up because it's weird. But um, this is what we picked it up for. So. It is high energy, but. just sounds is it different because it's a shit pressing or is it actually different yuck what? that's alone again or Nick Hayward. Waxwork. And Spandau. The brush for me. Paint me down. I think it's live, is it? 
So live version of that, which is kind of interesting. So Evelyn Thomas, 837 is this mix of high energy. With the Blake 7 bit in the middle. So this is Abstract Dance uh, presenting the cool notes and you're never too young. Back to the sound of summer. Never too young, you say. Mm -hmm. Abstract dance, cool notes, sound of summer. Let's check this out first. The B side, bound to be more interesting. Okay. <laughs> something but the far too much noodles uh, the other side was you're never too young Um, so this is a dialogue with you 2 live under a blood red sky and it's kind of got this big white sleeve thing going on here which is uh, got a number on it someone stamped the number 684 on the bottom so I'm not sure what this is dialogue Gloria dialogue 11 o'clock tick tock dialogue I will follow dialogue and party girl so let's have some dialogue. Very messy and sloppy, bad notes and falling drumsticks, all that sort of stuff. They do pick those because of the vibe, because of the live atmosphere, not because they were musically fabulous by any means. Larry, is it a real live album or is it one of those cheap live albums that we so often hear where it's all been re-recorded in the studio afterwards? No, I mean, this was taken... It sounds speeded up. Hold on. The band takes any sort of crap from anyone else. One surprising thing, I think, for a lot of people. It's a bit better, isn't it? Minus six. All very good friends. Yeah, I'm, 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 it hasn't been difficult. It hasn't. We haven't had to work. It sounds a bit drunk, I think we're all reasonable human beings. They, they all had squeaky them. voices in the eighties. No mark of any tour, you know. That's really what's keeping your interest on stage, is. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I mean, well, uh, yeah. Sunday, bloody Sunday, and. If you lived in Ireland, as I do, uh, you'd appreciate that there's a real ambivalent attitude. Right. Uh huh. When I went. So. A little bit of roughness because I think. New live mini LP from you too. Right. So. This is Rick James, 17, and it's an instrumental version. It's on Motown Records, uh, sticking with 84 for the year. Interesting. It's like a wall from the reverb, which is... Kind of uncomfortable, really. Let's see what the vocal sounds like. Uh, it is a vocal version, yes. She says she loved me. Seventeen years out. Hmm. A guitar. Well, it was on Motown. You got to expect a guitar. So. It's 
kind of spooky. You know the way he's kind of spooky? It gives you the creeps a little, but... Jesus. Hmm. Oh, very strange. Woman, I Need Your Lovin' by The Investigators on Private Eye Records. This is an ice music record, so I'm thinking it's kind of reggae or ska or something, so it uh, feels like it's unplayed. Here we go. Sometimes it's right now the way you make me feel. Okay. Very, very polished. Mm. Yeah. No. Woman, I Need Your Loving, part two. This is George and James, which is The Residence, and it's part of their American Composers series. Okay. The Residence, huh? So, I mean, they've got their 8-bit their, their graphics and, and stuff going on here. The font is all 8-bitty and everything's very 8-bit. Great. I don't think they were trying to be like that. Oh, this is on um, Corova Records. Rob's label. Okay. Well. Okay. Right. Straight out of Compton. In fairness. Very strange. Well, it's the residence, it would be strange. You know, just that piece there is bizarre. I love it. I always thought it was better when the residents didn't try and sing or play. Just saying. Jesus. Frightening. Okay. The residents need to tour again. I'm just putting it out there. It's a shame that I'm not in the mood for this. But that's kind of weird. I'm going to take the, that little piece there, the... What's it called? It's a piece of summertime, I think. Right. This is Earlene Bentley and Caught in the Act. Okay. Oh, it's on Record Shack, so you know it's good. Very hard on the ears. Look, this has got everything. This is high energy, with still a nice bit of sloppiness in it too. Dub version. I'm feeling the dub more than the vocal. Black Uhuru. What is Life? Produced by them. Mixed by Francois Kvorian. Okay.
Francois, I'm not feeling you in this. Everybody wants Solidarity. This is far too cheerful. Sounds very familiar. Why? Okay. Um, one quick drop back in this. You know, it's got that I'm on holidays and I don't care feeling. So I'll put it in the pile and we'll review it properly. So that is it. <laughs> 